Hey guys, so I'm just leaving the hotel with Jason. Hello. And we are walking down to Liberdad. Day two. This is day two in Lisbon, and we're gonna do the hop on, hop off bus. Hey. So, first, we're gonna Breaking. grab some breakfast. We're gonna walk in the general direction of the hop on, hop off bus and see if we can find some place to eat on the way. By the way, don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any comments, questions, recommendations down below. And thank you for joining us on Honest Try TV. So we are, we just walked down Liberdad, which is the street right here, going that direction. Came up, we walked around the circle, back to the square that we passed earlier when we were driving to the hotel. And uh, we are, I think, I think the hop on hop off is supposed to be over here. So we're gonna walk over there and see if we can find it. Not sure what's going on. Just wanted to get a clip of this. Hey! This bow and spear. All right guys, we'll, let's figure out what's going on and if we're in the right place. And... Okay, so we found it. You do cross over into that little parking lot area with the gray line buses. And then to the left will be the hop on, hop off ticket booth thingy. So we're gonna get our tickets now. Okay, so we just finished buying our tickets for the hop on, hop off bus. We got two tickets for the red and blue lines, green. sorry, red and green lines, which will be the castle line and the Belém Riverside line. And um, we're going to start on the Belém Riverside, um, and then we'll, we'll switch to the green after that. The buses start rolling at 9.30. It's currently what time, baby? It's like a little after 9 right now. So we asked her where we can go get breakfast really quick, and she directed us to a cafe down the street um, where we're going to go and see if we can grab some, some brekkie. So onwards to that okay guys so we came to burger king and she's not open she doesn't open till 11 30. so it's like the burger king and the mcdonald's don't serve breakfast really? no breakfast lunch only so we're walking back up to the square to the cafe that the lady referred us to i really was hoping that i could get to burger king because it would have been faster, so much faster, to just grab a croissant which and be on my way, but... Okay. Let's see if we can get something quickly from the cafe and get back. But weirdly enough, the doors were open. We just walked right in. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, they need to lock their doors. But, uh, yeah, there's nobody in there. Lights off, everything's shut down. So like I said, we're heading back over here to go to this cafe and grab something really quick. Oh, and there's the bus, Jason. Yep. So. All right, let's see if we can get this done. Okay, so we are leaving um, the first stop now, passing by where we were walking around the circle of the square here. They provide free um, earbuds so that you can link into the audio uh, discord that walks you through the history of the city as well as its uh, monuments and sites. And again, we are on the red line. So here's a map. Let's see. And we are starting here. We're gonna take this route south and then it goes around, back up, and then we end right back here. Where we can are we switch getting off? To the green line. Um, so we're just doing a circle? No, there is the stop that we wanna take first, which is the Belém, Belém Castle. I'm gonna have to find it, just a second. So this is where we're gonna head to first. It's the, it's a monastery, I believe. So stop nine. that's gonna be our first stop. 
the whole point of getting on this line, really. So that was the, this is the back of it. Wow, I can barely get it. So this is the Palace of Ajuda? Not sure. There's the a big palace. Ajuda. We're getting off at number nine. The next stop is the monastery. So that's where we're headed next. All right, this is it. This is where we're getting Isn't off. That beautiful, yeah. This is the monastery. Oh, nice. And we just passed the Pastes de Belém, which is where you're supposed to get um, the traditional pastry Are we going of there? Belém. So yeah, we're going to try to go there hey. as well. But we're going to get off here and see if we can jump in that long queue. Okay, so we just got off and this stop also includes the Maritime Museum and the Planetarium. But we're going to be going into the monastery that you see here so it's a hike because the bus lets you off over here and then you gotta hike it out over yonder to get in okay guys so we just walked from down there and your very first entrance here is going to be for the tickets so you're gonna look for a very small sign here to the left and jump in it and then you'll enter where you can purchase your tickets at this desk. There's a bit of a queue here, but it's not too long. It's so, not too bad. Yeah. So it's about 10, 15 in the morning. So the lines are still very reasonable. All right, guys. So we just came out. There's actually two lines. So you can go in either one of those. And it costs us 20 bucks, like 20 euros, sorry. And 10 euro per person for adult tickets. And then you walk to the left here to get in. And um, they're kiosks. So the line is actually to get to three machines where you can buy your tickets. The machines are finicky. I did have to stab it and punch it a couple of times in order to get the touch screen to work. But otherwise, it was a pretty straightforward process. The machines um, Jesus, look at this present line. information in multiple languages. So, English, French, Spanish, Portuguese, whatever your language, you'll be able to navigate the machine probably. All right, so there's a long queue here, but some of these are groups. So, hopefully, this will go kind of fast. Let's go see if we can jump in the line and get situated. All right, guys, so we just climbed some stairs to get in. It's a little chaotic because um, it's not clear what you're supposed to do. But if you have your tickets, even if you see people standing, just walk past them <laughs> and walk on in. You don't have to wait. Once you buy your tickets, you're good. So, yeah. We're inside, and uh, yeah, we're going to take some selfies and explore. There's restroom baby if you need it. Good time to take potty break. Sorry. So yeah, there are restrooms there. Let's see if I can find the ladies room, actually. It's a good opportunity. Actually, let me go see what the heck is doing here. I'm getting sidetracked. Oh, that's, that's, oh, that's beautiful. So yeah, we're gonna walk around and explore for a bit. First, I'm gonna use the little restroom. So I don't have regrets later.
So we're inside of what? You know? Inside the. I think we're inside the. Um... Oh, Jesus, Father, there's a rope. There's a rope, Nicole. I almost took myself out. I think we're inside the church. But we're in the balcony at the back of the church. Taking in the detail work of this place. Wow. Beautiful. This is the rope that I almost took myself out on. <laughs> I, wasn't, I wasn't paying attention. All right, let's go downstairs. All right, so next it looks like we just entered a tomb. Let's read and see who this is. Tomb of Alexander. 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 Writer, poet, and historian. Wow, the echo in here is serious. And we're on the ground floor where the fountain was. Alright, so this is the refectory. Okay guys, we're just coming out. All right, so we figured it out. This line to the left, is, or sorry, to the right, is to get into the church. And this line to the left, which is the one that we got in, it was much shorter at the time when we came, um, is to get into the monastery, which is what you just saw. So we're skipping the church, because we're not about to go get in this long line. It's hot. We're gonna walk back down here. Jump on our hop on hop off and head out to the next place. Oh no, we need to go to Belém. They have Do you want to go get it? Yes. Okay. It's supposed to be like quintessentially uh, Portuguese. So beautiful building though. It is absolutely stunning. But yeah, we, we don't have time for all of that. So we're just going to walk down here. It's a little pastry place. We're going to pick up the little pastry and then we're going to head out. Okay, so we are in the site of the And we're going to get the traditional lemon tart. Um, there is a secret to getting in here, and I will show you as soon as we head out. Alright guys, so two lemon tarts and two sparkling waters cost us for 90 euro. Uh, Alright, so we're going to show you the crazy lines to get in and out. Okay. Let's try not to get run over by strollers. Alright, so there's two queues. You want to walk to the very far, the door here, at the very far end of the building. Right? On the right side. Right before you get to the Portuguese Arts and Crafts. Place, right? This is the door you want to go into to just buy your tarts and leave. This is the queue to get into the restaurant to sit down. So if you see these signs, there's counter service. And then this queue over here is for service de mesa, which is table service. So don't be intimidated by the line. Okay, guys. So this is the pastry. Sorry. Um, it tastes more like an egg custard. It's served warm, or it could have just been hot as hell in there. There was no air conditioning in that place, by the way. So no air con, just anywhere. <laughs> um, but it tastes okay. I wouldn't get it again. 
Um, it's okay. It's okay. Probably not gonna finish mine. Do you like the rest, Jason? Yep. Okay. What do you think about it? It's okay. It's okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna drink my water, and we are back at the bus stop here. That's our stop. But we're standing underneath the shade of a tree while we wait for our bus to arrive. What is that? It's the Museum of Modern and Contemporary Art. Which is right across the street from the monastery. We just got back on the bus. So we're going to finish doing the uh, Belen line, which is the red line. And back over there, you can see the monastery. What's that? Um, a memorial? And there's the Tower of Belem on the other side of these trees, if you can get it. All them trees. There it is. A tower right there? Yeah. Here's the Tower of Belen. Museum of Popular Art. Next to that is this monument. This look at the, I think, Australia. Okay, so we made our way to the, the lift that was designed by the, I think it's the student of the guy who studied under, it's a guy who studied under Eiffel. I don't know. Um, so if it looks similar to the Eiffel Tower, I think it's because he was like a student of that architect. Oh, that's what it was, okay. Um, so yeah. I think that's the line to get in. You see that? That's uh, the line to get in if I'm you want to okay. go uh, up. Uh, yeah, we're not going to go up. We're just going to take some photos. Okay, guys. So we are making our way to the bubble tea place. There's the archway. And this is a nice little pedestrian walkway here. And we just basically are uh, across from the lift. So when you get to the lift, you can make a left and then there's this nice little walkway. And we are heading in this direction. Okay guys, we are at the Bubble Lab. Um, see the name on the glass over there, Bubble Lab. And we are getting bubble tea. It's a cute little shop. And they've got seating downstairs, looks like. And a bathroom if you need it. So yeah. We're gonna get some boba to hold us over until it's time for dinner at Mini Bar. Okay, and here we are. Jason got. I got the original. The original. I got milk boba. Tea. I got tapioca boba and I got red bean. What do they call it? Azuki. Azuki. Yeah. Azuki beans. And I got Oreo milk tea with boba. Jason got the grande this and I got the. Oreo? It's yeah. interesting. Yeah, you got the grande and I got the medium. You want to try yours? Medium. See what you think of it? Yeah, so it's yeah. a little yeah. stopper for you. Yeah. See, yours was hard. Mine wasn't hard. I had a spilling accident on the car. My bad. It's all good. It's all good. My cap was really loose. How was yours? Did you try it? It's good. It? It's really good. Yeah. You really like it? It kind of reminds me of um, Kung Fu tea. The original like, Kung Fu tea? Yeah. Yours. Mm -hmm. I like the. Mm. The bulb is good. And Side note: We got this hat from Nicole, Nicole at these little, you know, tourist trap things. I really noticed, but it's 100% made out of paper. It's pretty wild. Yeah. <laughs> but it's still nice looking. Because it's hot. It's, it's like hot. 90 something it degrees and here. very humid. So yeah. So it tastes like a smoothie. Oh really? So it's chunky. So you, yeah, you have chunks of. Of Oreo cooking. Oh, nice. It. Yeah, it's pretty good. All right, guys, we're gonna slowly make our way to dinner now. 
now that we've ruined our outside. Yep. <laughs> Let me go ahead and get the outside. Okay. As we make our way. And we're making our way, making our way towards Mini Bar. Hey guys, so we are at Mini Bar. You come through the seating on the outside into the first restaurant, walk through that to the first door, and then you come to the second, which is Pateo. And I think we're supposed to walk through here to get to Mini Bar. And you see the signs for it over there. So eventually we will make our way. I don't know, right now we're waiting for directions on what to do next. All right, so I think this is Pateo. Oh, this is pretty. So we walked through here actually to get to Mini Bar. So we were not in the right place. So you have to walk through two restaurants to get to the right one. Okay. Thank you. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, fancy. Gotta go. Okay, fancy. Oh, so this is the entrance. It's a secret entrance. Because I was nicely about to head up these stairs, but that's not it. <laughs> cool. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there's air conditioning in here. Yes. And there's a little bat, there's a little seat for my purse. Hey. My little purse is gonna go here. And I'm gonna scoot in next to it. <clears throat> it's like a wine cellar okay, thing. Very cool. Very nice. They have a little and they have, barcode. Yeah. For the menu. But yeah, very cool looking. Alright guys, so we got some sparkling water. Yay, cheers. And this is the menu. Yeah. There's our cocktails. You can go a la carte. You can order a set menu or or the a la carte menu that's been predetermined by the chef. Um, we'll be going a la carte because a lot of the items on the set menu are seafood. Cocaine, but allergic. Yeah. So, wine menu. It's a big menu. Wow. Yeah. Teas, vodka, rum. They got monkey. Sweet. Monkey 47 is prevalent here. I think it's the German. I think. Yeah. They also have the Michella. I think for me, it's easy. It's easy to try it. Sorry, I'm reading as I go. Okay, so this is this is actually just a drink menu. Oh, it is. Oh, if you okay. want to see food, then you have to scan the barcode on the thank you, baby. Scan the barcode on the table, which is I was just looking through that. So unfortunately, I can't share that with you. Here's the barcode. If you guys want to scan your screen, and then you can check it out for yourselves. Let's go ahead and get some drinks, Jason. All right, cool. Okay, guys. So we just ordered our drinks. I got Vino Verde, and Jason's gonna start with a mint martini. And our table um, has been set with the My Bros 2017, which is a mint lychee rose margarita, and it looks like this. And also we have breads, we have truffle, smoked, smoked truffle butter, or something like that. And we have egg yolk for the bread. And this is 750 euro okay. for the for the starter thing. That's cool. So I know Americans are used to complimentary bread. So just know going in that this is uh, seven 
seven point five euro. Okay, so here's my vino verde and Jason's mint margarita. Can you see anything? It's like barely any light. Yeah, I can see it. There we go. That's how we're looking. So this is awesome. Oh, dang it. It's crisp, fruity, light, um, syrup chilled. It tastes like like it has a very clean finish. I'm trying to think. What's a good? It's almost sparkling. Um, I don't know what to give it. Mine tastes like mint. It does it? Yeah, very minty. Okay. Good. I like it. I like it. This is an awesome summer wine. Very good for hot weather. All right. See you in a little bit. Uh, the smoking gun. Okay, I'll get that. Okay. So this is tuna tartare. Let's see if I can do it. Do you see it? Tuna tartare. Bring the light closer? Yeah, bring the light closer. Tuna tartare. Two of those. And then we've got smoked chicken. With Interesting. avocado on some sort of toast. And then we have tempura avocado. Yeah, that looks cool. Yeah. Our main course is going to be masamon curry duck curry rice. Nice. So, Jason's getting another drink. Yeah, I'm going to get the uh, smoking, gun. smoking gun one here. Yeah. Let me see the menu so they can see what we're talking about. There you go. That's that. And yeah, we're gonna jump into the appetizers. Okay, so this is frog raw with cotton candy. That looks crazy looking on a rock. Yeah, it's on a rock. I got the same thing. This is recommended to us by our by our waitress. And also, this is the smoking gun. It's very good. It's strong, but very good. And because Jason stole my cocktail, <laughs> we're just testing it out. We're testing it out. We'll give, I'm gonna it taste it next. I got the Miss Saigon. Yes. So, yeah. All right. Let's try this out and see how it is. So far, the food's been pretty good. The um, the one that looks like a, the a cone. Tuna tartar, which was the one that looked like a cone. That's amazing. fabulous. Yes. Absolutely Let's amazing. Get that. The um. Avocado, the deep fried kind of, avocado kind of was right. not, we wouldn't recommend it. No. It was pretty bland. And the um, the little, the one that was in the middle with the two dots of, I guess, six dots of foam on it, that was pretty good. Chicken, that was chicken. Yeah, it's the smoked chicken. That was pretty good. It was alright. It was okay. Look at, look at this thing. It's mostly cotton candy. Okay, look. That's nuts. And a little bread. Yeah. yeah. And I lift it. Yeah. Alright, try it, Jason. Alright. It's very sweet. It's very sweet. Yeah. You taste a lot of the cow and candy. Maybe like 60% is just cotton candy. What makes it? Okay. It's very sweet, though. You like it? Yeah. The, like, the sweetness kind of overpowers it, though. But it is very good. It's unique. It's different. Okay. So we're gonna try this and wait for our drinks, and then lastly, we'll have the dog. Yes, the dog. This is amazing. So, here's my drink. This is the Miss Saigon. Is this little flowers right there? Yeah. Okay. Flowers. And what do you think? Would you like the. Uh, I love Jason's. I tried it. Gun. It's amazing. It's smoky. It's smooth. It doesn't have. It's alcohol forward, but without the burn at the end. Yeah, it's nice. It's very, very nice. So we're going to try mine and see. What'd you think of it? Oh, wow, that's good. Yeah? What does yeah. it have? What's the flavor? She said it was sour, but I don't taste sour. It's very smooth. It tastes, I, you know what I taste? Um, passion fruit. Oh, okay. And absinthe. Whoa, okay. Yeah. It's good. It's really good. It's got a little hint of spice to it. It's very good. So recommend very both of them. Very smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, for sure. Both drinks are very good. All right, guys. So this is the duck curry with onion, cilantro, cilantro and red pepper. And red pepper, yeah. 
It looks delicious. It, it looks smells good, great. But it's small. It's tiny. Yeah. So for reference, here's my hand. It's covered the same whole <laughs> like, thing almost. It's enough to fit in the palm of my hand. Yeah. <laughs> so if you like to eat, get two of these. Yeah, probably get two. We might get one more main. Yeah, just just and the, we're sharing everything. Also though. for reference, this is 35 euros. Oh, okay, wow. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so for dessert, I got the chocolate cone. It looks chocolatey. With sprinkles. And it's sitting in a stone. Is it? So let's try it. Get it. She, she gave me a spoon. So. Get in there deep. Is there multiple layers? I don't know. Oh. But the top is salt on um, like a ganache cream. Oh. It's very good. You want to try it? Yeah, but get all the way through to make sure you got everything. Oh. Yeah, but you can't only go so far because the cone? then you hit the cone. Yeah. Uh. Here, try it. Very creamy. The salt's yummy. It's very good. I'm not sure if there are other layers in here, but we'll find out. Don't worry. We'll find out. The duck was amazing. By duck. The way. We highly no recommend way. that. Yeah. Okay, guys. And last up, they gave us a complimentary gift. Um, I think what she used to call these Fabergé eggs. Yeah. So they look like bonbons. Hold on. Let me get some light on them. Yeah. So yeah. Excited about that. Jason, you want to show them the damage? Okay, so double check it, but uh, let me get the light closer. So we just got the pill, and this is what it turned out to be right there at the bottom in big letters. Okay. 192 with 15 For two cent people. euro. I mean, we did get a good chunk of food, but it is, you know, a little pricey, I guess. For, they were, they were like almost like tapa styles. Mm hmm. Um. So let's see, the most expensive thing was 35 bucks. That was our. The duck, right? Yeah, I think that was the duck. And also 30 bucks for two tamaki. What's that? Because the tuna, the tuna oh. was actually uh, $15 each. Oh, okay. For the tamaki rolls. Cool. So that's why it's 30 for two. But yeah. Um, we got a lot of the frog. We got two of the frog raw as well. So those were 12 each. But well, because we got two, because there's two of us, um, that came out to 24. And also for the bread, so it's supposed. To, remember, I told you it's 7.50. So it's 15 euro because again, there were servings for two people. Oh. Yeah. So it's not per table. It's per, per person. person. Got it. That's good Price. to know. Mm -hmm. So yeah, and our water, our sparkling water, 4.50. Oh, but they only charge us one, it looks like, so that's nice. My wine, our drinks, pretty reasonably priced. But yeah. So it all looks right? Yeah. Sweet. It all looks right. really good. I mean, the prices aren't that bad, considering that this is a Michelin starred restaurant. Where'd you go? Okay guys, so we just found out that there are live performances on the stage and they will have cabaret dancers performing um, starting at midnight until 4 a.m., which is when they close. We will not be here for that because I'm tired and jet lags and I'm going home. So, yeah, Jason, you had your bonbon. How was it? Very good. Very, very, very delicious. Yeah. But I mean, the wait staff here are so nice. Everything was really good. This chef does have two Michelin stars, but this, this it's a different location. restaurant. Yeah. It's actually outside of Lisbon. It's quite a trek to get to, she was explaining. So while this is the same chef, um, this is more of an experiential restaurant where he's introducing the concept of cabaret to Lisbon. Yep. So, um, what did you say? Did you like it? It was delicious, yeah. It was good? Yes. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna have my bon bon and then we're gonna head out. Okay guys, yeah, we're leaving. We're heading out here to our... Hi, Hi thank you so much. I'm gonna show you the door. Come on. Yay, thank you. All right, so you gotta go through, again, two other restaurants to get out, so. 
make our way. So this is Pateo. sitting area here to wait for your reservation. Here's the next restaurant. Excuse me, thank you. And then outside. And voila. It is deep in there. Yeah, it's deep in there. It's deep in there. It's so there at the front door has like all four, I guess, restaurants yes. in there. It's like, in, it's like Inception. You're just going through <laughs> restaurant, through restaurant, through restaurant. Yeah, and so there's outdoor alfresco seating if you want to sit out here. And the, the street's shut off, so you can just sit out on the street, no problem. Hi, guys. This is the end of day two on of our trip to Portugal and England on Honest Try TV. Thank you so much for joining us. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Leave any questions, comments, recommendations down below. Um, to summarize what happened today, we woke up, we got on the hop on hop off bus, we went and saw the monastery. Um, afterwards, we finished the red line. We never made it to the green line, which was the castle line on the a green on the gray line hop on hop off bus which is the red bus there are two lines fyi there's the red and the yellow um we we did the red and we only did one line and that was the red route on the red bus um we ran out of steam because it was 90 something degrees it was hot it was humid we were falling asleep on the bus, and so we finished the red route, and then we walked back to our hotel, crashed and burned, took, to, took a nap. And then we woke up, we went and got boba at Bubble Lab. Then we went to Mini Bar um, for dinner, and then we went to Monkey Mash for drinks. Um, we were hoping to get into Red Frog Speakeasy, which is within Monkey Mash, but you need a reservation. So FYI, if you're interested in checking out the Red Frog, which is a highly recommended bar in Lisbon, make sure you make your reservations in advance and it is within the Monkey Mash bar. So you'll just see one person standing outside and you can just tell them that you have a reservation for the Red Frog and they'll, they'll let you in and direct your path. Um, but we did check out the Monkey Mash bar, and that was fine. Um, but after that, we came back and we crashed and burned. So we got a nice tour of the city today. Hope you enjoyed those sights. And yeah, tomorrow we'll be heading to Sintra. So thank you so much for joining us for day two of our trip, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.